appears to be some kind of doom palm. Gingerbread fruit. Are they very hard? Yeah. Yep. That's right. Cool. Somebody's selling baobubs and uh, doom palm. That's random. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, there we go. Shut up, you damn bird. Okay, so we're here with a uh, very exciting fruit. This is something that we found uh, just driving down. Uh, there was a vendor, and it looked like they had something that was a little bit different. So we stopped, we got out, and we found Lala Palm. Lala Palm is a close relative to the Doom Palm that I had uh, in Malaysia a while back. Now, the Doom Palm is a very ancient fruit. I believe the Egyptians used it it's all over the Middle East. It's a very um, interesting fruit that people actually use um, for kind of like magical stuff. People believe that the doom palm, you eat it and it gives you a baby. Like, it doesn't make you more fertile, it just gives you a baby. Lala palm, kind of hope it doesn't do that. I don't, I don't especially want to have a baby. Uh, um, I don't know how it would work. Yeah, it's probably not, yeah. not going to be pretty, however it works. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we decided to uh, give this a try, and um, what is the genus on this one, Stephen? Um, it's Hyphenae. Hyphenae. Yeah, it sounds okay. like hyphen. And uh, this species is native to southern Africa and coastal regions of Madagascar. Part of the reason we know it's not, uh, the, the, the doom palm is was so cheap and sold, look like this has been harvested from some tree somewhere around here. Yeah, it's just growing wild somewhere here. We're yeah. on the coast, so it makes sense. Yeah. Doom palm is very expensive um, yeah. because it's got so much like value for it. Here, I think people just eat this, probably. And the doom palm, which I had before, tasted a lot like gingerbread. It has a bready taste, a gingery taste, brown sugar kind of taste. Uh, these, I'm um, not too sure, but they are a little bit softer. Uh, you can even see that it's like, kind of cracking a little bit. So, I'm going to just kind of lop off a little bit with this knife and it's like the fact that this is cutting at all separates it from the um, doom palm which I had which was very very rough it might have been dried out but this one you can see it's actually actually getting a slice off of it and yeah I can actually cut it it's very dense it feels like I'm cutting like a very dense piece of bread or something. So here's a little chunk for you, Steven. And I will cut it. I think it'd probably be easiest just to like like gnaw on this thing. So there's my little clump. Let's uh let's eat it. Tastes different than the Doom Palm. It is very bready. It tastes like raisin bran. A little bit of a dry raisin taste. A little bit of like a bran flake taste. Raisin bran. It tastes like a bran muffin. Kind of looks like it looks a little bit like a bran muffin as well. Um, hmm. I mean, it's kind of good. It's very bizarre. Yeah. Um. The bready taste is what's really kind of confusing to me. Like, I want to say it tastes like a date. It kind of does, but the bready taste is like what really makes this stand out. It tastes like, um, have you guys ever had like gluten-free, um, like a gluten-free muffin? Where it's like super dense? Mm -hmm. It reminds me of, of something like that. Gluten-free bran muffin. It is spongy. It's sweet. Um, sweetness it, level is pretty maybe, high. Maybe a cinnamony too, kind of? A little bit. I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10 for sweetness. No tartness at all. Mm -hmm. Raisin bran. Yeah, I like it. Not a lot of flesh. No, it's a little tricky to eat, but it's easier to eat than the doom palm that I had. How, how does this compare to the doom palm as well flavor-wise? Yeah, it's like similar... But I feel like this is breadier. Okay. The Doom Palm have more of a fruit taste. And this has like a very, it's like eating bread in flavor. Like a very dark whole wheat bread. Yeah. A little molasses y maybe. Yeah, I, I do I do taste the molasses y flavor. I kind of like it. 
Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. This is something that you know, if I saw this for sale, and I wanted something to eat that was not super sweet. It's not very super sweet. And wasn't like super sour. Just something if I wanted some bread. Like if I was going fruitarian again, I'd be eating this like all the time because it feels like I'm eating bread. Yeah. It also um. It's like a uh, Asian pear in that it does have uh, stone cells in it, kind of. It's got a, a bit of a grittiness to it. Oh, it's very gritty. Yeah. It's gritty the way like bread is gritty. In the center of the doom palm, there's a big seed that people make like buttons out of, like coat buttons. They call it vegetable ivory. It's a few fruits that have vegetable ivory in it. It's just like a very hard seed that you can carve. So I'm guessing this probably has that too. Uh, so if we can gnaw into this, uh, we'll come back and give more information about the seed. Um, maybe we can eat it. I have no idea. This is definitely different. But, yeah, either way, this is, um, so this is a very exciting thing to find. It's very bizarre. You know, you don't... Very, very rare. Yeah, very rare, very bizarre flavor. You don't really expect that in a fruit that you're going to get bread. <laughs> yeah, there, there weren't even very many people selling this either. There was maybe one stall or two stalls in this entire city. I've only seen the one person. I saw somebody else on our way into the city. I thought I saw it, maybe. Maybe okay. I didn't. Maybe this is the only person I saw selling it. Super rare, either way. Like, this is a, a super rare thing to find. And they were really cheap. Yeah. I th the woman who, who was selling it didn't speak English very well and said it was 10000 which was $4. Ah. And I was going to pay... I gave the the coins for um, her $4, and then she gave me back, like, a bunch of change, and it was actually 1000 which would be about, about 25 30 cents for... Um, yeah six of them 30 cents for six of these things and it is like rare as hell so yeah that is money well spent for sure um yeah. the doom palm which i had in malaysia was balls expensive that was like it was like 30 dollars a pound or something it was very very high um this yeah that, that is not only a bargain but even more rare and uh, in my opinion even tastier than doom palm so this is super exciting to find um i'm thrilled I don't think I have more to say about it, Steven? Um, yeah, this is just a really rare and interesting palm fruit. There's um, a lot of palms that produce fruit. Uh, we found some other stuff I think are palm fruit and we found out what it is. Um, I'm very happy to try this. Um, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, super exciting to find and um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now, that should be good too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.